Welcome to the Richard Lloyd USA YouTube channel. I'm Richard Lloyd. Today I'm going to make a video showing you how to recover lost or forgotten Wi-Fi passwords. Now this video applies uh, to um, a PC, uh, like a Windows PC or a Windows laptop. Uh, that's what you will need to get these uh, passwords. It can also be done on a Mac computer as well, but I don't have one to show it to you, so I'll just put the commands in on the video and on, on the video description, all the commands will be there as well. And you can use those to recover uh, Wi-Fi passwords uh, that you've either lost, forgotten, or for whatever reason, need to get back. Um, so here's the scenario, uh, possible scenario anyway. You've got a Wi-Fi router uh, hooked up to all these devices on your network like we all do. And uh, for some reason, uh, something's happened, like you've somebody's reset the router um, or they've, uh, you know, flash the firmware into it and no longer works or you're getting a new one and you're upgrading it and you don't know the password for the old one and you don't know your wi-fi password uh anymore because it's been like two years since you set everything up well the when you're putting in the new router you're gonna have to put in a new wi-fi password which means you're gonna have to put in a new wi-fi password on every one of these devices and you know i don't know if you've ever done it before but you know how much fun it is to put a wi-fi uh, password on a printer or uh, uh, you know a Nest camera or you know all these IOT devices yeah it's not super hard but it's it is you know uh, a, a process let's call it that uh, but anyway uh, what I'm showing you in this video is how to use the stored lap uh, sorry the stored passwords on your computer uh, either a PC or laptop uh, running Windows uh, you can do it on a Mac as well, as I said, and I'll show you the command, but I can't show you the process. And uh, basically, what you do then is you recover your password that you used to use, put it into the router, uh, and, you know, the, the new router or the reset router, and then all these devices will automatically connect because they'll have uh, the same network uh, name and the same network password as before on the new router. Okay, so that's that's why I'm putting this up because it's a real time saving feature. Now, if you're a computer tech or a network administrator, this is a really useful tool for people uh, to recover, you know, or actually to get them back onto Wi Fi devices real quick. Uh, if you don't know what their old uh, SSID, which is a, the, the uh, network name or the password for that Wi Fi is. Okay, so let's get at it. There we go, and uh, I'm going to bring up the commands here, and they're very basic. Basically, what we're going to do is open up a, a, a command a window. It's called CMD, uh, and it, you know a shell basically. And we're going to put in a couple of commands, and I'll show you how all this works. So go down here to your search, and then type in you know Charlie Michael Del Delta. So the CMD like this, and you get these th this uh, search uh, result. Now, you know, what you want to do is run this as an uh, administrator. You click here to run it as administrator, or you can right-click here and run it as administrator as well. But I'm just going to click here because that's simple. And uh, it'll, it'll bring up this window, which you're going to say yes to. And let's minimize this out of the way or just close it out. So here's your uh, command window, and you'll know if you're in the right place. Uh, because you'll have C Windows backslash system 32. If you don't have that showing, then something in, in, in your getting that CMD window to come up didn't work. Usually it'll be uh, you didn't use run as administrator. So if you didn't, just go back and do it again as, as I just showed you. Okay, so first, um, what we're going to do, and if you look down here, I don't even have Wi-Fi running here. Let's turn it on. You'll see all your, your previous connections or all the available connections and all the ones that you've connected to in the past are actually stored in the computer. So I'm going to turn this off here. And so what we're going to do first is show all the saved uh, network profiles in this computer. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, we're going to use a, a program, a, a command called netsh the WLAN show profile. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do here is uh, highlight that, right click it, copy it, so you don't have to paste it. Uh, I, by the way, I'm going to put all those, uh, in, all these instructions in the, in the uh, video description below. So you, you can copy and paste them from there. So I, I did that here on this one, and we're just going to hit paste here. There we go. And what this does is it shows you all the user profiles for uh, Wi-Fi. 
So you can see that I've been connected to Netgear 699 5G. Actually, that's my current connection. Uh, Open WRT High, so on and so forth. All these are connections I've made to Wi-Fi networks all in here, mostly. So what I'm going to do, now that you know uh, what you've got stored, you can go and look at that information and basically extract the password from that. Really cool, right? So uh, what we're going to do is let's do Netgear 699, my current connection. Of course, I'm going to change all these passwords after I show them to you, of course. But uh, anyway, so we'll go back. <clears throat> and excuse my throat. I'm just getting over a nasty cold and a little bit of laryngitis there. So, But I sound a lot worse than I actually feel. I feel fine. So let's get the next command here, which is this net sh wlan show profile, blah, blah, blah. Again, I'll put it in the video description below. Copy that. And uh, let's go down to the bottom here. And uh, let's just paste it down here. Here we go, paste. And oops, that wasn't right. Let's go back here. This is the one we want right here, the long, long, long one. This is the, the command that shows you the key. Uh, reveals the key anyway. Now let's put it back down here. There we go. And I'm just doing this just so you can see how you edit this. You leave the quotations in and then you put the the, the um, network name in here. Right, so it's Netgear 6995 and case, it, it is case sensitive so you know it's 5 capital G so make sure you, uh, you you know put the case sensitivity in there and the space as well so uh, now I've got the right command I'm gonna copy it and put it back in here and you can copy and paste into this window but it's kinda weird how they do it but regardless you just right click here and that'll paste it in as you can see and here we're just gonna hit enter um, I'm gonna move this over here there we go. Here we're going to just hit enter. And you get a whole bunch of information. Let's scroll up here. And you can see, you know, everything. Here's where I put the command in. But you can see everything that it gave us. A lot of information. Most of it we don't need. The only thing we need to know is that we're looking at Netgear 699 5G. And that is the SSID name. Perfect. That's what we wanted. And here under security settings, you'll see security key is present. And the key is Timmy Rocks. So the, the SSID for this network will be Netgear 699 5G. And that's, you know, what you would put into the router uh, as the, you know, uh, SSID for whatever, the 5G probably is uh, part of your router. And this would be the password right here, Timmy Rocks, all one word, uh, and exclamation mark, okay? So that's, that's doing one of them. Let's do another one. Uh, we've got... Okay, let's do the uh, Netgear 5G guest here, okay? And I'll show you something here. You can highlight it here, like this, by, by left-clicking on it and dragging your mouse across. Then you can right-click it with your mouse, and that has actually copied it. So we'll go back over here to our command, and we're just going to take this out of there. Right-click here, and paste. And there we go, right? Now, one more time, we're going to drag across here, grab it all, copy it, go back here to our command line. There we go. And we're going to drop it in here. And we're going to hit enter. And again, you know, SSID name right there. And security key is present. And the security key right there is be my guest too. So you can do this for all the stored. Uh, Wi-Fi profiles on your laptop that connected to your router and your PC that connected to your router okay as long as it's connected through Wi-Fi um, like I said you can do this on a Mac and the command for that is right here I put it into the uh, uh, well I'll be posting it into the um, video description follow the these instructions here and you'll be able to do it on a Mac at least that's what I've been told uh, anyways the next thing you may want to do, and I don't know why, but regardless, you may want to, uh, you know, delete one of these profiles because you're no longer using it or, you know, whatever, right? You want to get rid of it. You can do that. And all you need to do, and, and another trick here on the command line is that you can go sorting through 
all your commands by using your up and down arrow key on your keyboard. And you can see that it, it'll only store for this session. When you close the window, it'll disappear. But this session stores them. So, uh, so here you have one like uh, the Netgear 5G uh, connection. So let's say you want to delete it. Um, what you got to do is just clear this off here. Scroll over to here. Instead of show profile name, what you're going to do is type in delete profile name. And I'll take this right here because I don't think I have it in my notes yet, but we want it in there. So, oh yeah, I got it here for this one, but it doesn't matter. Let's put it in here, right click it, paste it. There we go. So this will be again in the video description. Minimize this. Uh, and now understand once you do this, that password and that login information is all gone. You're gonna have to re-log in with the current password and SSID. Uh, for Netgear 5G, I guess, uh, guess, and uh, like you used to. So it's permanent and it doesn't prompt you at all. It just does it. So here we're just going to hit enter and you can see deleted, right? So now if we go back here to the show profile, which shows us all the profiles, you should see that that one is gone. And it is, okay? So those are the three little commands to do this. Um, and I'll post this up on uh, uh, in the video description, as I said, uh, you know, for you guys to do this. And hopefully that helps you uh, recover your, your password in the case that, uh, you know, somehow you've forgotten it, didn't write it down, uh, your router got uh, reset or deleted in some way or fried, maybe a lightning storm or a bad flash. Um, and you've got a new one coming in and you want to put the old network uh, and believe me, this is way easier than having to reprogram those 17 devices uh, on your network to a new SSID and password. So hopefully this helped you out in some way. Okay, so that's it for my video. If uh, this video helped you out in some way, give me a like at the bottom here, a uh, thumbs up. Uh, I really appreciate that. It helps me on YouTube. Also, if you enjoy my videos and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. There's a link here on, on, on the bottom corner, I believe, to subscribe. And when you do that, you'll get a bell icon. And what you need to do is click on the bell icon and choose to be notified. Once you do that, every time I put up a new video, you'll have the opportunity to watch it you know, at your own leisure uh, or anytime you want. And at least you'll know I put up a new video and then you can watch it as well. Okay, once again, and like always, thank you so much for watching and supporting me here. Um, the, in the video des uh, description as well, I'll put affiliate links for the stuff I use here. And what that means is that those links, uh, if you use them, help me out a little bit when you go to Amazon or eBay to buy that stuff, uh, whatever it is, like camera equipment or you know whatever I use on YouTube. And it doesn't cost you any extra than just going directly to uh, YouTube, sorry, to uh Amazon or uh, eBay. So, you know, I really appreciate when you guys do that. Also, comment section below. Uh, do me a favor, put your comments, suggestions, questions, video suggestions. I love. Uh, I've done many videos from video suggestions in the, in, in the comments section, and I, I go there and respond regularly to those comments. So, I really appreciate them, and uh, I really like connecting with you guys. So, uh, please keep doing that. Uh, it, it's, you know, it's a blast, and it's really, I really enjoy. Uh, the feedback, a positive and constructive feedback, please. Okay, um, you know, again, I, I, uh, you know, appreciate it all. All right. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay healthy, stay happy, and we'll see you on the next video.